Should you get a master's degree in machine learning and what are the advantages in doing so? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Smita. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe because I post educational content on machine learning and data science. In today's video, I want to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of getting a master's in machine learning. And if you're someone who is looking to apply for a master's in machine learning, maybe this video can help you decide if that's the right path for you or not. A master's degree in machine learning is a relatively new thing. You know, in fact, the most traditional way that most people became machine learning engineers or got into the field of AI is that they would take a PhD in computer science and they would specialize in machine learning or AI. So that's the most traditional way that people went about it. But because of the nature of demand uh, for machine learning engineers and people who are working in AI, we see a lot of universities are starting to offer master's degrees in machine learning and even bachelor's degrees in machine learning as well. Now, it's still relatively new, so you're not going to see a master's degree in machine learning be as common as maybe computer science or electrical engineering. But I think this is changing drastically right now because the, there is a huge amount of demand for people who are interested in actually taking a master's degree in machine learning and even bachelor's degrees in machine learning. So I think this is going to change drastically. In fact, you're going to probably see in the near future, a lot of universities are going to offer this type of major. So what are the advantages of getting a master's in machine learning? Well, the biggest and most obvious advantage is that it's going to look great on your resume. So if you are looking to apply for machine learning engineering roles, it's really unlikely that the pool of candidates that are applying for the same job as you are also going to have a specialized master's in machine learning. Yes, it's true that they might have a master's in computer science, but seeing candidates who have a specialized master's degree in machine learning is still really rare. So if you're someone who is able to get this qualification, it's really going to set you apart from the entire pool of people who are applying for these machine learning engineering roles. Additionally, on this channel, I often talk a lot about, you know, the requirements that companies often look for for machine learning engineers. And I also mentioned that, you know, nowadays, a lot of tech companies are open to hiring uh, are open to hiring candidates who just have a bachelor's degree in computer science when it comes to machine learning engineering roles but it's still 100 percent true that the majority of people who actually get accepted for these roles as machine learning engineers they often have masters in computer science or phds in computer science so definitely if you're someone who manages to get a master's degree in machine learning or artificial intelligence, it's really going to set you apart from this crowd. The second advantage of getting a master's in machine learning is that you're going to actually be taught by people and professors who are working within machine learning and AI. So in a lot of these universities, the actual main role of your professors is to produce research papers and is to do research. So if you're being taught by people who are researching in machine learning and AI, it's a really great experience. And I'm sure that the learning experience and the learning curve is very different from actually just taking a bunch of different courses on machine learning. So there's this huge advantage there as well. And speaking of research, if you're interested in getting a PhD in machine learning in the future, getting an actual master's degree is the right step towards getting a PhD later on. So that's another big reason on why you might want to look into getting a master's degree. Another great advantage of actually getting your master's degree is that you have a huge advantage of meeting people and working with people personally uh, who are also interested in machine learning and AI. So there's a lot of opportunity for great ideas to come out of this. And it's very different from actually networking online with people on LinkedIn versus actually meeting them in real life, building connections, building these networks, uh, which is going to help you in the future, especially if you're planning on building a career within machine learning. 
Well, there are definitely a lot of advantages to getting a master's in machine learning, but what are some of the disadvantages? I think one of the biggest disadvantage is that you're essentially going to be beta testing a degree since it's a really new uh, sort of degrees which are being offered. So you're probably going to be the, in the first batch of the degree or even the second batch. So there's definitely going to be a lot of room for improvement. And I think that's one of the biggest disadvantage. I think the second biggest disadvantage is that since this is really new and also not a lot of universities are offering this, there is going to be a premium price for getting these type of degrees. So you're definitely going to be paying a lot more than getting uh, simply a master's degree in computer science. And of course, as with any degree, you know, there is no guarantee that you're actually going to get a job at the end of the day. So it all depends on you. Even if you're investing this amount of money, there's obviously no guarantee that, okay, that you're actually gonna be getting jobs as machine learning engineers. You're definitely still gonna have to work on your portfolio. You're definitely still gonna be having to do your own projects on your own time and build up your portfolio in order to stand out. So we've looked at some of the advantages and disadvantages of getting a master's in machine learning. I have to say though, if you're someone who is planning on applying for data analyst roles or business analyst roles, I honestly don't think there is a huge reason for you to actually get this type of master's degree. However, if you're applying for machine learning engineering roles or even data scientist roles, you should definitely look at this option because having this sort of master's program on your resume, it's really gonna set you far apart from people who just have perhaps a master's in computer science because this is a specialized degree. However, since it is really new, there is going to be a lot of learning that you still have to do by yourself. You're still going to have to work on a lot of projects by yourself because it is really relatively new and probably there is going to be a lot of gaps in knowledge as well. So guys, what do you think? Are you someone who is interested in applying for these type of masters? Or if you're not interested, are you planning on learning machine learning online or through other sort of resources? Let me know in the comment section below. And also I've actually uh, created a free PDF which contains an entire how to learn machine learning roadmap for 2021 with a bunch of resources and really useful links. So you can check out the link for that in the description box and you can download the free PDF through that. Thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video.